the risky gambit, isn't it, for a couple reasons. One, uh, there's a partial shutdown at least going on, so you'd imagine demand isn't that strong. And then Lyft isn't saying that they're going to shut down, so uh, it's not like people don't have options. That's right. What it could do is push more people towards Lyft. We've reached out to them and haven't heard back yet. Um, but I think what I've heard is the idea of just bringing on over 100,000 drivers as employees is just too much of a logistical nightmare. Remember that these companies are already bleeding money, billions of dollars in Uber's case, a year. So to spend more money, the business model just wouldn't make sense. Um, Darukas Rashagi, I know, as you know, John, wrote an op-ed saying that they want to find some kind of middle ground, and this will be brought to voters in November under Prop 22. So this story is far from over. I guess the real question, far the from over, question for investors is, within less than 10 days, does Uber actually go so far as to shut down the app? And in that case, drivers and riders, they probably both lose out. So, middle ground, right? right now the third, the third way as they... Uh, call it the third way or middle ground you know uh, there's another travel guy who has a youtube channel i think his name is mark and said i was dead wrong came out with a big big video that i was dead wrong about this i've been saying this for two years right i've been preaching the third way the the hybrid law right so these threats now they mean nothing the judge knows they mean nothing right this is a little child stomping his feet. I'm going to shut you down. I'm going to shut you down. Do it, Dara. Judges say, should just say, do it. If you want to shut it down, do it. They'll never, ever shut their number one market or their two number one cities, Uber, and, uh, uh, Uber Los Angeles, Uber San Francisco. They would never shut them down.